Hey y'all, another project finished. We dropped in some uh, flush plug vents for the customers. Uh, made them myself, charged them about uh, 160 bucks for both of them. Cut them in, put them in the existing floor. We did about uh, six vents throughout the house. Um, I was hoping I could get, it's too shiny. Anyways, I just wanted to show um, my applicator marks. Um, I usually get them about every 18 inches apart or so. Um, if I don't get enough build on the floor, they don't show. So I, I let the customer know that um, with areas like this, with the way the light comes in, that uh, they're gonna see them. And that, that's a good thing. Um, I let them know that uh, the more build you get, the more things are going to show, and you do. That's what you want. You want to get the build on the floor. So, um, anyways, uh, you got to prep your customers. You know, we're out here to do a job, and we're not in a clean room. And um, uh, first of all, you know, you, you can't stand back and look down a floor like this and, and judge it. You know, you won't have an inspector side on the customer side because um, it's not realistic. So I let them know that uh, applicator marks are good. So I don't want puddles, um, but sheen difference, uh, yeah, you're gonna get them. So I backed out the way we coded, I backed out pretty much all the way down in front of the fireplace and then over and then down and then into the kitchen. So, I mean, that's, that's a long ways. So I've got every 18 inches or so from my applicator, I have a sheen mark and then I have a couple stop marks on my way out. So anyways, I'm okay with that. Much rather have that conversation with the customer than not enough finish on the floor. So. Um, yeah, anyways, job turned out really nice. Uh, terrible sanding job before, divots everywhere, and we smoothed it all out. Um, I love the trio. I love the trio. Uh, if you're a floor guy, you gotta have a planetary machine, something. The power drive, uh, although it's a great machine that we use for stain, it's, and we still use the trio. We still use the trio because the power drive does not get the floor as flat as a trio. It's got something to do with just the weight and um, the way the pucks, the larger puck. So, anyways, uh, yeah. So, another nice job. Um, we'll move on to the next one. And uh, subscribe. Thanks for watching.